memory is of a sense of guilt. And then terror. Party on track two. Fort Lauderdale. Seabring. I was moved from place to place and passed from person to person. Thank you. Time for me to go. Can you wait here like a big girl? No one seemed to keep me for very long. I remember wishing they would. I must have been handled with care since I remained intact. I'm here now, Rebecca. Everything's fine. That's right. Oh. Look at you. You are my beautiful Rebecca. And I'm your mommy. And this is your daddy. And we're gonna take you home now. There were secrets in the big house. Where did I come from? That was something we never talked about. It wasn't really important to me then. A loving mother had finally found me. That was all that mattered. I'll do it, Mommy. Thank you, sweetheart. I love you. Hmm. Like mother, like daughter, huh? Promise not to rat me out to your mom, okay? Doesn't want me turning into a tomboy. Wanted you, not your brother. What brother? Your brother. You were a twin. But you wanted a boy? The minute that I laid eyes on you, I didn't want anybody else. Why didn't you get us both? Uh, only one to a customer. <laughs> Becky. Mom! Mom, we're late! Mom? 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 You know what, sweetheart? Your lazy mother needs a nap. And you are so good that you can miss a class. Okay? Twinkle toes? Sure, it's fine. I'll just rest here. We'll go next week. Come on, 
Mom. Everything's ready. Oh, look at this. Look at her. <laughs> beautiful, beautiful. Go ahead, blow them out, blow them out now. Come on. Make a wish. Mister, you see what time it is? She needs discipline. She'd get it at Oakwood. She doesn't want to go away to school. She's got friends here. No, you don't ask her. You tell her. She's a child. 
Lane, I don't want to have this discussion with you. Jewish? I don't know if she's Jewish. Lane, I made a promise. I don't care what you promised, Helen. Oakwood is a good school. It's a fine school, and you and I deserve a lot. Lane! Fine! I'm... Fine! Fine! You know what? Maybe you didn't want a wife after all. Maybe I was just more cost-effective to you than a full-time babysitter. <laughs> I was no longer welcomed at home. At boarding school, when the girls went home for the holidays, I had nowhere to go. Later, I ran away and joined the Navy. You okay, Rebecca? Yeah. Christmas, I still had nowhere to go. A draft. Make it two. Got some ID? Rebecca. Another one. Okay. Kega. Oh. Very nice. Uh, excuse me. But now don't let me catch you in here again. Go on. Can we leave it? Merry Christmas. Sure. Thought bartenders usually closed one eye and kept the change. I'm not a bartender, I'm a builder. Mm -hmm. I'm moonlight. What can I get you? Two ginger ales, please. Some ID for ginger ale. <laughs> Just trying to find out your name. You could ask. Would you tell me? No. My point entirely. Taking an awful long time to pour those ginger ales, Mr. Bartender Builder. I'm taking just about as long as it takes. <laughs> Keep the chain. Thanks, Bex. Oh, you're in trouble. What? Don't turn around, but the bartender's staring to beat the band. Is he staring? I probably just didn't leave him a big enough tip. That must be it. That's exactly the look I get whenever I don't leave a big enough tip. Hey, Ryan, bring up that case, will you? So have you noticed it's Christmas, Miss Ginger Ale? <laughs> the fact hasn't escaped me. How come you're not sitting in front of a fire with some guy who's nuts about you? You know the phrase unlucky in love? Yeah. I inspired it. <laughs> What about you? I'm just too ornery. Nobody will have me. I like it that way. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think you could? Oh, no. Okay. Yeah, I understand. No, I'll, talk, I'll talk to you real soon. I gotta get off. Bye. They're not coming.
cake for me. So nobody gave me away at my wedding. And there were no grandparents to dote on them when our daughters were born. He was the only father I'd ever known, and my girls would never meet him. piece of work she had called one week earlier I could have said goodbye to her. Oh. careful they're my okay. mother's things okay, okay. Just, just be careful I got it I got it <sighs> he loved me in his way You were up all night, never come to bed. Jack, try working a full-time job and writing a master's thesis at night. That's Please. not what you're doing here. You're on the internet. What's up? I posted a search for my twin brother. I knew it. Come here. Come on. Sit down. I thought we went down this road when the kids were born. I know, but that, that was a search for my parents. This is different, Jack. Oh. He's my twin. He's my brother. I just, I just keep thinking he might be lonely. Look, you should have had a chance to say goodbye to Carl. When you lose that second parent, it, there's no one there in front of you anymore. It's like you're next in line. Believe me, I know. Just let it go, Becky. You better let it go. When my mother died, I couldn't cry. I tried to reach down and pull it up out of myself but it was no use I just couldn't do it I couldn't cry you know how they tell you to get a grip I couldn't get a grip on that sorrow couldn't hold it couldn't pick it up couldn't put it down after that I didn't belong to anybody or anything I don't care how much it hurts. I want to touch bottom and stop falling. Grab on. I won't let you fall. The nurse's station. Okay, we should go from the beginning. 
I'm all right. Don't flip out. I'm okay. I can walk. No, no, it's don't. Just will you morphine. not sit? Will you sit down, Jack? Nothing's don't stand broken. up. Nothing's broken. I had a little fall. Six it's weeks. Fine, fine. Heal. Just sit down until I talk to the doctor. Right. Hospital How do you feel? How do I feel? Trussed up like a fryer chicken. How do I look? Trust chicken kind of nails it, babe. <laughs> Bye, Carrie, sweetie. I'm late for class. Mom, could you not forget to pick up my notebooks? I will not forget to pick up your notebooks. Okay. Bye. Bye-bye. As she looked at the key for quite a long time, she turned it over and over and thought about it. Eat your burger. But it tastes weird. It's a perfectly good burger. Oil me. Yes, dear. <laughs> I'll get the oil can. Mom, I think I'm, I think I'm gonna be sick. Hannah? Hannah? I want to take her to Children's Hospital, but Jack thinks I'm overreacting. Sometimes these bugs just stick around. Kids are pretty tough. Pauline, I've taken her to three pediatricians. Nobody knows what's wrong. Bex, you worry too much. The kid will be fine. She's lost six pounds. You're entitled. <laughs> Everything seems to be falling apart. <laughs> you won't let it. <gasps> oh, boy. Jack says I'm the rock. <laughs> I am not a rock. Peggy, <laughs> you got a sick kid, a lousy job, and a crippled husband. By the way, how's the thesis going? Thank you for that, Arlene. You have a great gift for cheering people up. Did you really ask the doctor? Yes, I yes, can't catch yes. this. LLD is not a disease. It's a condition. You don't catch it, you inherit it. Yeah, but you don't have it. And Dad doesn't have it. Well, Hannah does have it. It just means she can't eat meat or dairy or she'll get sick. In fact, the only meat she can eat is venison. What's venison? Deer meat for rich people, which we are not. Well, are we poor? No, no. It's going to be a little tight, though, until Daddy gets better and can go back to work. Listen, life is what you make it. You got to ride it, not let it ride you, OK? The most important thing is we have each other. I have Daddy, we both have you, and all three of us have Hannah. Hannah? Worst comes to worst, we send her out on the street to sell matches. Cool. Hey. Hello? Oh, hello? I hope this isn't a bad time. Uh, this is Grace Reyes from Arizona. I'm sorry, who? Uh, I, I called you the other day. I'm the woman who's looking for my mother's twins. They were stolen from a hospital in Fort Defiance. Oh, yeah, yeah. About the posting on the internet. Yeah, wait. Let me think. Uh, you know what I think the best thing would be to do? Let me just send you the instructions, okay? Oh, are you sure? Oh, yeah. It's no trouble. Hold on. Let me just get a piece of paper here. So that is Reyes. Could you spell that? R-E-Y-E-S. And it is Route 2. Yeah. Box 173, Sedito. Spell that. <laughs> S-A-D-I-I-T-O. You know, this is crazy, but I've seen this. I've seen this somewhere. I think my mother knew somebody there. Really? Hold on. Hold on. Let me, let me just check this out for a second. Sedito. I thought it was a place in Italy. <laughs> yeah, there was a, a, a telephone number here, too, but I... I tried it. There were too many digits or not enough because I couldn't get through. Hold on, wait. Okay, here it is. S-I-D-I-T-O. You, you know somebody named Betty Jackson Monroe? What's the number? Um, 01991-203944. That's not a phone number. What is it? It's a Navajo census number. 
was given to the twins when they were born. And Betty Jackson is my mother. Betty Jackson Monroe. What else did they say? Is there anything else? Hmm? May, May 5th? <laughs> That's the day they were born. <laughs> Wait a minute. You're my sister. You're my sister. Um. All right. Uh, okay. Let's not jump the gun here. I have to call Dad. Is he alive? He's alive? Yes. My father's... Our father is still alive. His name is Yasi Monroe. Why is he Yasi? Yes, Yasi Monroe. He's our dad. Oh, don't don't leave, okay? I'm not, I'm I'm right here. All right. I'm not going anywhere. Thank you. I'll call you right back. <laughs> I don't know about taking the girls to an Indian reservation, Jack. Anna's pretty excited about meeting her grandpa. I'm white. I'm Jewish. I have nothing in common with these people. Sure you do. Anna's got LLD. All our loving cousins got LLD. But after we've covered that, what do we talk about? You and Grace talk pretty good. I got the phone bill to prove it. Jack, I'm terrified. Tell me it's okay to be terrified. Everything big in life involves a little terror, Vex. You know that. Just come back. This is your final boarding call for St. Louis flight 12. Let's go. Good boarding. That's a bad news plan, always just under the wire. All right, you two. I want you to do me a favor. I want you to take care of Pocahontas here, okay? Dad, Dad, I'm half Navajo. I don't think that's very funny. Well, can I have a hug anyway, even though I'm mean and nasty and uh, yeah. politically incorrect? Oh, careful with the back. Mm -hmm. Hey, Dad, could I stay here with you and then fly out later, please? Go, meet your aunts and uncles. It's a genuine adventure. It's a code of the road. You never pass up a genuine adventure. I love you. Right I'm going to call okay. you the minute we get there, okay? Good luck. I'm going to meet my father. My head knows this, but my heart has not caught on yet. Get out of here. <sighs> Relax, Mom. They have to like you. Not necessarily. I'm not like anything they imagined. How do you know? Because I know what I imagined, and it's nothing like this. You're freaking. Bingo. Oh, oh. You Grace? Oh. You're Grace? Oh, yes, 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 I'm Grace. I'm Hi. Grace. This is my husband, Eddie. Hi, Eddie. Hi. Nice to meet you. And these are your sisters. I'm Kate. Hi, Kate. <laughs> this is my boyfriend, Peter. Hi, Peter. Hi. I'm Doreen. Doreen. Hi. <laughs> this is my husband, Ready you go. Oh, oh, nice hello. to meet you. Don't go. Naha, ne, it's a shit zip. Bahi, a sin. It's good to have you home. I think I'm your daughter. <laughs> Hello. Hello. <laughs> Oh, you know that picture you sent? Well, to be honest with you, I took one look at it and said, forget it, she's white. But you are no Billy Ghana, lady. 
Even her eyes, huh? Doreen. What? Oh, oh, Villagana just means white. I forgot you were married to one. <laughs> okay, so I gotta ask you. What does he think about you now? You know, now that he knows you're Indian. Doreen! What? I have some pictures. Pictures of our mother. So many pictures. It's right, right here. You know what? Don't mind me, Odette Marie. Oh. I have been a cop for too long, and I got a big mouth besides. <laughs> hey, you don't mind if I call you by your given name, do you? Oh, no. I, I like it. I like it. <laughs> Good. I don't know. All these years, in my mind, you've always been Odette Marie to me. <laughs> here, we gotta make you a real Indian woman. Make me some fry bread. Okay, what do I do with this now? Just kind of... Like no, 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 not like a hockey puck. Navajo roasted corn. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Hi. I'm your mother's sister, Kate. Duh. Well, um, thank you, Aunt Kate. <clears throat> but I'm not hungry. That's Nori. She's your clan. Hey, come on. Let me show you around. You know, there are over 50 Navajo clans. We're bitter water, Dene. You get your clan from your mother's side. My roommate in college was the first blonde I ever met. <laughs> Not too many blondes on the res. Our mama. Tell me about her. I want to know everything about her. Today, we bring a lost bird home. For many years, Navajo children were stolen from their families to be raised in other circumstances. We will not allow that tragedy again. We welcome Odette Marie Monroe home to her family and to her true heritage.
You always up so early? Yep. Ever since I was a little girl, I woke up before the dawn. I'd lie in bed until I got so restless I couldn't stand it anymore, and then I'd just grab a sweater, run out the back door, and... Wait. For the sun to rise. Mama used to shoo us out of the house every morning. Sunrise is when the holy people give us their blessings. Maybe it was Mama waking you up. <laughs> this is going to sound kind of crazy, but I think I saw her at the chapter house last night. You want to know about her? I remember her as quiet, very strict. She never made jokes. Sometimes I saw her crying. When I was a kid, I, I was afraid I'd done something wrong. I used to sit by her loom and not speak. And Dad said she was very different before it happened. Mm -hmm. You know? You should ask him about her. He'll tell you. When I showed him your photograph, he said, She'd sit. Shabit Nanitash. Bring my daughter home. Grace, there she is. Just look right down the road right now. There she is. Hmm. It's her. <laughs> That's Aunt Mary. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> She's okay. Mama's younger sister. Oh. Aunt Mary. Oh, it, show it. Over there, that's where your mother ran on the last day of her canalda, when she became a woman. It's the most powerful ceremony a young girl can have. You must run with strength and a clear mind and not look back. For as far back as there is memory, this land under our feet is where we have lived. Here's the old whole gun. This is where your mother married your father. My sister was harvesting blue corn. The pains came so fast I had to help her. You were born first, then your brother. He was dark. You were light with a small birthmark on the middle finger of your left hand and another one on your foot. Here, I buried your umbilical cords. It's what we do to make certain that you and the land are one, that you always come home. You don't understand. No, I do. I do. You will. This is where you belong. Out there, the wind does not know your name. Here, the wind knows your name. Listen. Listen, I'm trying. Try less hard. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Jack, everybody is just dying to meet you out here. I've been sitting on the bench for months. All of a sudden, I got three job offers. It's too good to pass up. Okay, okay. Just not now. Okay. How's the Bitter Water Gang? Well, it's 
the strangest thing. It's like I've been away for a while, and now they're glad I'm back. I mean, I'm not a stranger to these people at all. I'm Odette Marie. Odette Marie, that's whacked. Yeah, maybe a little bit at first. You know how you've always said you wanted to live on a ranch? Pipe dreams. No, not here. Here, it's the real thing. And nobody is ever in a hurry. It's because they got nowhere to go. Bex? Sweetheart. I miss you so much. We'll cut it short then. Come home. I love you. I love you too. Come on home. I thought you didn't want me. <laughs> that was never true, Odette Marie. On the second day after you and your twin brother were born, your mother was very worried about you. Your skin was yellow and your lips blue. We all drove in the wagon to the white man's hospital. They said we must leave you and your brother. Your mother would not go home. The next morning they said, we will tell you when your children are well. Go home. A day passes, then another. Your mother and I, we go back to the white man's hospital. Where are my children? Your children are not here. They are taken to the hospital in Fort Defiance. But our children are not in Fort Defiance. Your mother cannot stop weeping. Cannot stop looking for her lost birds. Where are my babies, she keeps asking. Where are my babies? She cannot stop searching. Year after year. But they are gone. Like smoke. And she cannot stop weeping. There are others taken from their cradle boards, from the flatbed of a wagon. But you, you have come back. And you bring joy and, and hope. And we are grateful. Those were woven by your mother. She would have taught you. What's this? Spindle. Beat ese. Carding paddles. Beat enade. They're for you. We believe that if you want to know someone, you only have to walk the path that they have walked. Hey. I would not want you to walk the path your mother walked. To know the loss of children is not something I want for you. She was two women. The one before and the one after. She knew the songs and stories of the weaver. She understood the colors of the yarn, what they meant. These are the things you will learn. These are the things you will teach your daughters. Aunt Mary, my daughters have to go back to school at the end of the month. I have a job I have to return to. This is your home. Out there, you're lost. Here you are known.
know him, he's probably already dancing. That's my man. What is this, a blessing way ceremony? No. Nope. What kind of ceremony is it? It's not a ceremony. Well, what are we celebrating here? Nothing. Gee, don't feel like I never just have parties? And no, no, we always have to be celebrating. Hey, come on, you gotta dance. Me? Come on, Bex. Let's no, go. No, 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 no. I'll sit this oh, yeah. out. No, no, no. You're no, no. I'm I'm all quiet. the quiet people. It's no, not. no. Gotta get out of here. What happened? Was it the girls? No, no, no. Nothing like that. Well, what is it then? I have to come out there. Jack, trust me. Just get your toothbrush, get on the first plane, and get out here. You gotta come out here and dance with me, baby. White half needs more sleep. I see it. It's beautiful. I'm going back to bed. I'm hungry. husband of my daughter? I'm Jack Matthews. Yazi Monroe. Let's go. You married my daughter. You owe your wife's clan 12 sheep. Is Becky here? Odette Marie's parking the truck. You think 12 sheep is too many? Uh... No, I figure you give me a break. She's worth twice that much. Okay, 24. Pay when you can. <laughs> Jack! Oh, dead Marie! <laughs> oh, I missed you. The art A, baby. <laughs> Why did I get you cheap? Becky wants to take you all to the house tomorrow. It's small, but it's on a real road. Real road, that's good. I'm glad you finished your job before school starts. I told Becky that you wanted a place where they can get a school bus. School bus? I'm sorry. You should just go to sleep. You're exhausted. You've got jet lag. Go help Becky put the girls to bed. 
shouldn't I uh, say goodnight to everyone? Oh, no, I can take care of that. You just go. Okay. Thanks a lot. Thanks for dinner. It was great. Jack, I just wanted to thank you. What you're doing means so much to Dad and to all of us. I just hope you're happy living here. Oh, Dad wanted you to have this. Sweet dreams. Dax? Okay, you're done being mad. Okay, I'm done being mad. Can you guys fight in a different room, please? We are not fighting, we are We're discussing. discussing. You talk to the girls about this? Talk to us about what? Hannah, go to sleep. How can I when you keep discussing? Do you want to live here? No way. Jack, I would never decide something like that without consulting you. Grace, jump the gun. We talked about it. That's all. She can't bear the thought of my leaving so soon. Well, I understand. No, you don't. No, you don't. You can't. Nobody can understand this. Look, <laughs> I lost my folks when I was 14. You know that. Yeah, but you knew who they were. You knew your blood. You knew your genes. You knew where you belonged from day one. <sighs> he held me. He helped me when I was less than a minute old. Suppose, just for one insane second, suppose we stay. How are we going to eat? You know what they use Sadito for in the 60s? Moon landing practice for astronauts. Yeah, I know, but I would have grown up on this land. I would have grown up with my people here, with their ways. I would have been weaving rugs. I would have had a canal that... Would have run off and joined the Navy, met me in a bar. That never would have happened. Look, look, what about we give it a trial run? Could we rent a house? Could we ask the girls to go to school here? For a while. Just for the experience of it, Jack. For the adventure of it. For the genuine adventure of it, Jack. If it doesn't work out, we go back to Pennsylvania. We'll give it till Christmas. Thank you! <laughs> As soon as I get my census number, we can apply for government housing, like the kind Grace and Eddie have. If we stay. If we stay. If we stay. Look, Jack, I know this is a trial, but while we're here, let's give it a good chance, okay? What about Carolyn? Well, as you can see, Carolyn is sitting outside, looking a bit tragic, and not giving it much of a chance. Hey, Mom. Oh, look at you. She's trying. She's here. She's just bummed out. Yeah, I know. But you know how she feels about you. If you can be a little bit upbeat about it, she will too. Okay. It's a classic fixer-upper. What's your rent? Excuse me, that's my locker. Cornhead. People get nicknames. Cornhead is not a nickname. They say it to be mean. 
That's not how they say it. It's how you hear it. I'll call you Cornhead. You call her Cornhead. The whole family will say it till it has good meaning. I don't think that's such a good idea, Aunt Mary. Um, Odette Marie doesn't mean to be rude. You were raised with different ways. You're my sister's daughter. You'll learn our ways. And you too, Cornhead. I got it. Cashier, salesperson, paint mixer, and general hardware consultant. Part time. Great. Um, you're going to drive 50 miles each way? Yeah, unless you know a shortcut. Jack's trying to get construction work. But I could never ask him to commute this far for minimum wage. She doesn't want to be here in the first place. Okay. Hey, we should stop for groceries on the way back. Thanks. Okay, but not at the post, all right? I just got food stamps yesterday, and I'm a little bit embarrassed. I know, don't say it. I just am. Becky. Well, my father used to say, that Carl, that father, used to say, make a buck, not an excuse. And uh, he would not like the idea of food stamps any more than I like having my family prop me up. It's not like you've got it to spare. Hey, there is always enough to spare. Okay, worst insult you can throw at an Navajo? He acts as if he has no family, okay? Think about that. Okay, Green Eyes, lie down. Can I help you? Well, Edward, Grace's husband. Sorry, I am uh, lousy with faces. I must be getting old, I guess. Yeah. Man, I just remember everybody's name, everybody's face, everybody's drink. Uh, back when I attended bar, I used to. I used to attend bar back in Philly. You want to come in? We brought the loom from Aunt Mary's. It's for Odette Marie. It was her mother's loom. Oh, yeah, uh, yeah. Where do you want it? Uh, right here's pretty good, I guess. Can I, uh, help you? That's all right. I got my nephew, John. That's it. I can come back after work and put it together for you. It's okay. I can drive a nail. You on that housing project? Mm -hmm. You know anybody that's looking to get some work done? Uh, it doesn't have to be a big job. I'm looking. There's plenty of locals for that. You tried Tuba City? <laughs> you live in the house? Who? <laughs> the dog. Looking for work. Who keeps animals in the house? He doesn't want me to come back. He said he put it together himself. Let him. Go back to class, Bobby. You too, Miss Jackson. Yes, I will. Miss Matthews, stay here. Thank you. School District. You're new here. You're going to get some teasing. Like water up a duck's back, Miss Matthews. Let it roll. I am so sorry. Why did you lie? Bobby grabs you two. I saw him. They do it to all of us. And Bobby's not the only one. It's just how guys are. If you tell, they'll do worse stuff to every girl. <laughs> Are 
father's gonna give me a secret name in my blessing way. <sighs> Big deal. He has one for you too. I don't want one. Why not, Carrie? Why not? Leave me alone, okay? Yeah. No. Grace brought it over. Did you tell her that I have a job? No. Did you tell her she doesn't have to bring by food anymore? You tell her. Whatever I say, it's like I'm insulting somebody. I don't know how to talk to these people. These people? Don't jump down my throat. You said the same thing yourself. I'm not going to school tomorrow. <clears throat> Why? Are you sick? I don't like it. I don't like the kids, and I'm not gonna go. Carolyn, I have spent the whole day counting ten penny nails. And whose fault is that? I didn't ask to come here. What do you want out of me? She's right. about you what you're such an unpredictable son of a gun gotta keep you on your toes it's beautiful <laughs> thank you very much it's beautiful you know big guy I know we said until Christmas but we don't have to stick to that Deal's a deal. It's my mother's loom, right? Yep. What are you waiting for, Spider Woman? Get weaving. And Kate, where do they come from? They run wild in the cantons, and once a year they round up as many as they can and hold an auction. You'll see by tonight there will be one left. I can ride. Really? Yeah, my dad taught me. My dad can write anything. Hey, Carrie, come here. What do you think of that mare over there? The brown one. Mom, they're all brown. A buckskin one, wise guy, number 28. She's got spirit. Think daddy would like her? Who <laughs> wouldn't? We just came to look. Kate, what do you think number 28 would go for? I don't know, but there she comes now. I think I have it now. No, wait a minute. No. Oh, but I'm a mess. Okay. Okay, I think I've got this now. Hold this here. And this goes in just underneath the baton. No. No, I had it right. Right. Okay, put this in here and hold this. Um, this does not want talking. Your hands know what to do. No, actually, they don't end Mary. My hands need step by step illustrated instructions in this. I think I got this. Weaving will make you a Navajo woman.
It is a living. It's how your mother took care of her family. Weaving will give you definite hands. Don't try to fill silence. Don't try to teach words to hands. Remember to leave a break in the design. You don't want to trap your spirit in that rug. Your mother would have taught you these things. That's a nice horse your mother bought. A little wild, but... <laughs> but she'll be fine. You know, <laughs> it reminds me of a... of a story about your grandmother and the wild horse, just like that brown mare out there. Want some apple juice? Okay. Well, it happened many, many years ago. <laughs> your grandmother saw these dark clouds over this very mountain. Her father had gone to the trading post, so she said to the men, there's a storm coming, and there are sheep in the canyon that need to come home. Well, the only horse in the corral was this wild horse that no man would ride. Well, your grandmother jumped on that horse and pow, rode off to the canyon. She had great courage. Yeah. Great courage. What happened to the sheep? Oh, she saved the sheep. Then came the years of no rain, no grass, and no sheep. <laughs> Why didn't you do the rain dance? Well, the Hopi do the rain dance to bring back the water blessing. That's not the Navajo way. We don't ask nature to change for us. My dad loves horses. He used to work on a ranch every summer, before I was born, before I met my mom even. Here's Harry. I sent for him. Harry's the best horse trainer on the reservation. He was a rodeo champion. Harry. Uh, hey, uh, hey. And my granddaughter, Hannah. Look at her. Yeah. She's a beauty, huh? <laughs> the reason I called you is if anyone can break her, you can. Dad, I thought you were going to train the brown one. Here is a friend of your grandpa's. He's trained a lot of wild horses. He knows more than I do. Yeah, but it's our horse. It's okay, Anna. It's okay. It's gonna be fine. Yazi knows what he's doing. Take a walk. 
Grace was telling me about the long walk of the Navajo out of exile and back into their ancestral lands here, you know. And Jack, it's the same story, it's the same journey as the Jews returning to Jerusalem. Nothing's the same, Bex. You just sweat to make the pieces fit, and they don't. Not even your name for crying out loud. Odette Marie, what is that? That's not you. Who are you, anyway? I don't even know you anymore. I'm, uh... I got offered a good job back home, remember that? With Harris and CeeLo, foreman on a project. I'm taking it. Well, this isn't working. I can't support a family here, and you can't walk your mother's path. I thought you always wanted to live on a ranch. You, you, you told A me... ranch of my own, not a reservation. What about Brown one? I thought, I thought... You thought what? You thought you'd give me a nice new little hobby? Your dad's got Harry, what's his name, the rodeo champ. I told him you... He's were... boarding a horse, he's feeding a horse. He'll probably be riding a horse in about five minutes. They can do whatever they want with that horse. I'll tell you what. Why don't I just give him the horse instead of the 24 sheep? That way there'll be one person on this reservation that I don't know. Sit with me, cornhead. Come on. Come on. Get in your seat! She hit her head. No concussion, no broken bones. Stitches should dissolve in about a week. Come back if she has any persistent headaches, blurred vision, etc. Okay? Thanks, Doc. You're welcome. You think we could go home now? I should have taken that teasing seriously. I just didn't think that the prejudice could go that deep. It's not just because I'm white. They do this to all the girls. Gary! Three days, Mrs. Matthews. That's it? My daughter gets 11 stitches, and all Bobby gets is a three-day suspension? He was teasing her. I'm sure he feels bad about her accident. But she shouldn't have been out of her seat while the bus was moving. I don't think you understand what we're telling you. It's not just Carolyn. See? It's all the girls. And this is not just teasing. Miss Matthews. Look, look. When three boys block a door so a girl can't get through without inappropriate contact, that is not teasing. That is sexual harassment. These girls are scared. What other girls? No, I can't, Odette Marie. Sorry. Look, it's just not our way to protest in public. It's hard for Navajo women to speak out. Mom's mother's just scared. Well, somebody better light a fire underneath that principal. Maybe we should just let the school board investigate it. Investigations, lawsuits, those are white world solutions. Well, they've been pretty effective with white world problems, and what you have here is a white world problem. Came with alcohol and a satellite dish. What does Jack think about all this? Jack is not volunteering very much about anything these days. We had a, a fight. Well, it wasn't really a fight. Is everything okay? Yeah. 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 There have to be rules. There have to be written guidelines for the students as well as the teachers. Particularly the teachers have to be made aware of this. And if we really speak up at that board meeting, there's an awful lot we can pressure the school to do. It doesn't matter. The school just won't do anything. Well, then we'll hire a lawyer and we'll sue them. Oh, I'm sorry. I just can't sign this. It's a petition. Ask the board to investigate. That's all. Would Nori have to answer questions in front of people? Hi, Mom.
I was bored and Aunt Mary said it was okay, so don't be mad. Why would I be mad? Okay, just watch. See? Your weaving has helped bring rain. Come on, honey. Time to go home. Just one more minute, just so I can see him lead her with the rope. Where? Where? He shouldn't show her the rope yet. She's not ready. Look at the way she holds herself when he walks towards her. See her ears? He's trained a lot of horses, Jack. She'll spook. She won't, Dad. She's smart. Who says a smart horse wants to learn? Why isn't Dad back? He'll be back. He probably got a ride home with Harry. Wouldn't he have called? And everybody on the reservation has a phone. Mom, what if he stayed? I mean, he could be looking in the canyon. What if he gets lost? A lot of people get lost in canyons. Honey, your father was a Boy Scout before the Ark. <sighs> he knows his way around a compass. We could go look for him. In the dark. With no idea where he is. Mom, if you were out there, he would go looking. Even if you'd had a fight, he would want you to be okay. He loves you, Mom. Hey, big girl, what's the matter? I really don't want you guys to get a divorce. I'll do whatever you say. I will live here, and I, I won't complain about anything, and I'll make no more trouble at school. I promise. Just please don't be mad at Dad. What are you talking about? Nobody's getting a you divorce. You are, and it's because of me. Okay, I'm always saying how much I hate it here. He doesn't want to go back. He is happy here. No, that's not true. He was offered a job, sweetheart. <coughs> a very good job. And you know what? I've been thinking maybe we should all go back. Okay? All of us. <coughs> Here you 
stars. Maybe we should run away together. What do you think? You have a gift. <clears throat> I'm just stubborn, that's all. I was wrong. You had no reason to trust me with a horse. I had no reason not to. Uh, sure you did. I'm an outsider. With the Navajo, a man leaves his mother's clan and takes care of his wife's clan. Her family becomes his. <laughs> Even with the Diné, it's not always easy. You know, I understand. I didn't. <laughs> but I'm starting to. You scared me last night. <laughs> I've got something to say, Jack, and I, it's, it's not going to be easy, so let me just try to get through this, okay? I've been a fool. I've been the worst kind of fool. I've been a fool with blinders on. I just thought you want what I wanted. And I went to town selling you all a bill of goods about my cultural heritage and adventure and horses and ranches and what all. And I never once checked out the stats. I never once checked out the schools, jobs, housing, nothing. I never really thought about what you'd be giving up. Very selfish. I sat in that clinic and I watched them put 11 stitches in my daughter's head. Kids have accidents. Could have happened anywhere. It happened here. <sighs> Even paradise has snakes. Look, you wanted to be with people who love you, who've been looking for you all your life. Who wouldn't? <sighs> Tell you the truth, when I put you on that plane, I thought you might never come back. <laughs> and then you didn't. 
You afraid I'd choose them over you? Jack? You're the love of my life. And if choosing them means losing you, you'll just have to excuse me while I pack my bags because we're going back to Pennsylvania. So what's it gonna be? We toddle off back to Pennsylvania, leave your clan daughters in the dust? You gonna let that bully knock another little girl down like he did Carrie? Hmm. What kind of bitter water are you? <laughs> There's a seat over here by Delphine. Let's go. Some coffee, Doc? Yeah, yeah. Thanks. Yeah. 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 Thank you all for coming. We can begin this meeting. Go to your seat. Daddy. Yeah. Yeah. Come in. Lost bird, meet the one who catches the horse. I think we can dispense with the minutes from our last meeting. Yes? I think that's a good idea. Excuse me. Yes. Um, could the board address my petition first? The sexual harassment issue? Do you think about this? This is ridiculous. Mrs. Matthews, are you the sole petitioner? Yes. This isn't a matter for the board. <clears throat> Sounds like you need to take it up with your school's administration. The school won't help me. I want an investigation. This is a problem between two students. It needs to be handled by the school. Can we begin? We have a full agenda. Uh, I'd just like the board to know that if there is no investigation, we'll be filing a class action lawsuit. I'm sorry, but uh, you're not an enrolled member of this tribe. I am. And as a tribal member, I'm going to speak out for my daughter. There is a problem in the school. Nasha. <laughs> I'm a member. We speak out for our daughters. We want an investigation. Very well. It seems an investigation is in order. We will take your statement at the close of this meeting. You made trouble. Yes. <laughs> Women who wanted to be silent, you asked them to speak. Yes. And their daughters will now speak of private things in a public way. Yes. But our schools will be safer and better for our children. I hope so. It may be that you were taken from your mother to learn new ways and brought back to save our daughters. Everyone has a path. I don't know why I walk the path I walk. I only know I have to. And that it's an act of faith made daily. It's an act of courage. You walk your mother's path. When no one would save the sheep, she rode the wild horse. I love you.
So is Dad going to head Caroline's ceremony? Oh, you know, Dad can't do it. She's his granddaughter. Hey, but there's that medicine man that did Laura's Quinalda. He's really good. I'll, I'll see if I can track him down for you. Ask him. So, has she made up her list yet? I, I mean, besides the cousins. <laughs> Who else is there besides, besides the, the cousins? cousins right. <laughs> Here is the shirt Mama wore for her Quinalda. <laughs> You're supposed to wear silver jewelry, and they sew dimes to Mama's shirt. I wore it for my Quinalda, and Doreen did too, and Kate. And you would have too. Hey, you know, you should have a ceremony, Becky. Our clan would sing and pray for you. It's like starting over. I think I'll wait till I find my brother. I was born with him, you know? I'd like to be reborn with him, too. Yeah, I think I'm gonna wait for that. This is the old ranch. It belonged to Odette Marie's mother's family. Now it belongs to her children. It's a big piece of land. Yeah, but life is hard here. There aren't many jobs and the land's all dried up. People stay. Odette Marie told me a story she learned in her temple. A man pays a servant to always walk beside him so that he will remember every minute of every day to praise his God. A place can be like that servant. A place can make you remember every day who you are. I see what you mean. This place, I don't know, it just feels right. Those giant rocks and canyons I've been riding in. This river is like a miracle. Where'd it come from? Sometimes a man is not born to his home. Sometimes he finds it among people he's never known. And he has peace. I took my daughters and my husband away from everything that they knew. I brought them to a place where they would always be different. It wasn't so much that we found a home here, as that we recognized it as a place that had always been waiting for us. My birth family took me back as if I'd never been gone. The four days of Carolyn's Canalda were nearing their end. The ceremonial cake was ready for the men to carry inside the Hogan. Tomorrow at dawn, my daughter would take her final run. She would run with strength and a clear mind and not look back. My only regret was never being able to know my mother. The woman who wouldn't give me up. The woman who never stopped looking for me. Sometimes I think I would have been the child who gave her the most trouble. The one who opposed her. The child who stood her ground. The 
one who inherited her stubbornness. The one who defied her. But I also like to think I would have been the one closest to her. There are days when I feel as if this has always been our home.